The streetcar project is moving forward from rail installation to electrical and pavement work. Crews have been working hard to bring the streetcar here to Cincinnati. It will still be a matter of months before the first streetcar arrives in Cincinnati. And still a long list of questions have to be answered. But before we know it's going to be successful, we have to answer these questions. And WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is leading the way with all of that right now. Brian? Yeah, Mike, well, among the most pressing questions, who will operate the streetcar and how much will that cost? Uh, those questions are continuing to be elusive right now. The course of the streetcar is being carved in steel along the city streets. But the direction of other aspects are not nearly as clear. Well, the biggest unknown is what it's going to cost to operate it. David Mann is vice chair of the committee overseeing the streetcar. He says the projected cost to operate the streetcar is about $4.2 million a year. And then we're going to pay for it through some combination of the fare box, uh, parking meter revenues, and uh, paybacks from property owners that get uh, abatement breaks in uh, the central business district and over the run. But coming up with all that money depends on how much those sources of revenue will bring in. Right now, there are a lot of projections, but not as many solid answers. Factoring in is the other major unknown. Who will operate the streetcar and how much will that cost? Solving this part of the puzzle is key. Right now, the job for the operations is out for bid. They all open those bids uh, that they receive, or proposals actually is what they call them, uh, on the 31st of the month. John Dietrich is overseeing construction. It's among the most predictable of all the project's components, still a work in progress. Right now our construction is on schedule and we're well within our project budget. On a project still incomplete in many ways. Yeah, also unfinished is this part of the project. Uh, it's a huge box in the middle of Court Street. You may have seen it. Some people say it approaches eyesore status. Now, the finished product will look a lot better than this. There's going to be brick on both ends. There will be design in that brick, at least in one side of it. And there's going to be some uh, iron fencing around it as well, so it won't stand out quite as much. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thank you. The system will run five streetcars. Managers say those are on schedule to begin arriving in September. All five should be here before the end of the year.